Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1085. I'm pretty sure those of you guys who've been up to date with One Piece anime and manga, you will know that this will be the final episode of the Wano arc. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it, you know, Wano tells about a story about, like, um, the Akazaya Knight and Momonosuke, you know, and we all know how that turned out. Let's get to the biggest highlight, or the main highlight of the episode, okay? Which involves Luffy and Momonosuke talking with each other. Luffy, Momonosuke, Kinemon, and Yamato finally meet up, or Momonosuke meet up with them, and they finally end up having to talk with each other at long last. We have to it that, um... Momonosuke is begging Luffy not to go because he's not ready yet, you know? Although Luffy tells him that he has to go anyway and that they want to give him his pirate flag and fly over the territory. Those who mess with you are messing with us, you know? And if you're ready to become a pirate anytime, you let me know. So I'll pick you up anytime, you know? So yeah. Um, that aside, we have to it that eventually that Luffy finally says his goodbye. Eustace Kid, Law, and Luffy finally take the leave of a waterfall. Waterfall leave, which I thought it was pretty funny and hilarious and awesome, you know? But that aside, um, very cool, funny stuff here and there, you know? And I'm looking forward to, like, um, the next part, you know? Or the next of what's to come. Anyways, as for the, um, ending of the episode, we get to see Hiyori, you know? And then we talk, they talk about a story about Hiyori says something off to Orochi saying, like, you guys were meant to burn, you know? Goodbye and farewell. And, you know, that kind of thing. That aside, um, yeah, pretty much the end shows up and, you know, the ending song plays and then the preview new, ep new episode is about to come about and so forth. Now, I'm pretty sure if you guys have social media or something, minor spoiler or minor update ahead in the future, the new arc will soon, will, 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 will begin its debut or like its starting point around the new year of January. Yes, you heard me. Those of you guys who are manga readers, you will understand that we are about to catch up very soon, which um, at this point, I would not mind a lot of filler in this arc if with some other de other details to come. That aside, um, yeah. Um, although the preview new episode, you know, is called the new Emperor Buggy, the Genius Jester or something, etc. So pretty much at this point, we don't really know. I don't know. I... I think this episode might show up next week, possibly. I don't know. I mean, like, I have yet to figure out myself. Call me Crazy Milanakis or something. But, yeah. Anyways, Wano is finally over. We left the place. It's done. Now, um, I'm pretty sure, like, um, there will be some final thoughts of how people thought about Wano. And I'm pretty sure it's still the same about it to this day. Which I don't blame him for. Even though I love Wano itself, there were a couple issues that should have been, like, that has its... There were a couple issues and problems that could have been solved nicely if done correctly. But it is what it is. I mean, however Oda wants to do it, it's something that Toei wants to respect, you know? That's how they are, and etc. That aside, yeah, um, it was pretty fun to the very end, you know? For four years, being in Wano was a really cool, th was pretty fun, you know? Call me Crazy Milanakis for saying that, but yeah. Um, throughout the journey of Wano, even though it had its many filler moments and many, and some of its problems, you know, especially with Toki's prowl involving time, which I didn't really like about. That is one of the biggest things I hate about, you know. And then, you know, when it comes to Orochi, that guy, he was super annoying, you know. I didn't find him, like, um, anything interesting at all. Just some guy who wants to kill or destroy Wano just because he wants to because they did him wrong, you know. Which, you know, understandable, but if you did, but bleh, etc. Now, I think the... The next part, I think one of the biggest parts that might have bothered people when it comes to like Kaido and Big Mom fighting, fighting, you know. Now they are strong, but they're not invincible, and I can see how disappointed it must have been to see how they managed to like um be defeated by Luffy and maybe use this kid in law, you know. But the thing is, we have to understand too, like when it comes to Devil Fruits, you know, when it comes to Awakenings, you know, they could bring in a new type of power that is pretty crazy. Now, when it comes to hockey, I can see why a lot of people did not like the hockey system, you know, being like involved here and there, you know, but it's understandable. But let's be honest, um, they weren't, uh, no, the big, Kaido and Big Mom weren't a joke. The fact that they were working together and they had to separate them was one way how they were going to win, you know. And when it comes to awakening their devil fruit, I guess that's maybe a clutch or something that has to come in for them to win, you know, etc. And it's kind of difficult, you know. Now, a lot of people might say that Big Mom and Kyle should awaken their devil fruit back then too, if possible. 
Well, the thing is, even though, like, um, they might have been emperors and they might have been strong, you know, no one was able to challenge them or give them anything to, like, get them stronger instead, you know? And when it comes to hockey in general, you know, etc., it could be a problem system, you know, because here and there, but we have to understand that hockey gets stronger every time you fight a stronger opponent, but, you know, I can see people debating saying that, you know, when it comes to Luffy fighting Kaido, you know, he lost to him multiple times. Well, the first time, it was obvious when the get-go was going to happen because Luffy, he may have, like, um, fought many powerful warriors and commanders or something, you know, such as Katakuri and all that. But Luffy was never, like, um, at that Yonko level yet. And we have to understand that Luffy would would really, really lose if he didn't have any allies and just his crew because... That's why the crew came in. That's why Law and Kid are into play, you know? Even though, like, um, they shouldn't really do much any much of anything, it is what it is, you know? So, that's why, like, um, when it comes to fighting an Emperor, you need to team up with a certain... You need to have an alliance or you need to team up with someone. That's just how strong they are. It. Let's be honest, if Oda really... It would have been terrible, big, bad writing from the very beginning if Luffy just fought him and along with the samurai friends by himself and win well and of course like um things could go anyways however you want to call it you know i mean like um it could have been better if oda just focused on one guy on an emperor taking care of kaido etc and not just kaido and big mom but oda likes to do things his own way you know it is what it is i mean like um we all have our issues and debates and many problems when it comes to Kaido because he was really a hyped up guy let's be honest he was a hyped up guy but he didn't go down that bad he didn't go down easily either we have to understand that not to mention even when Luffy learned his new hockey ability he hardly did any damage on Kaido you know like he barely did any damage on Kaido until he learns how to use how Shoko no hockey which you know I mean hockey could be a BS system I could see that you know many people could complain and so forth yeah I understand I mean like um when it comes to power system and shonen, it could be a very big problem thing, etc. Depending on your point of view and how it's supposed to go, how it, how it, how it's done. So yeah, I could see why a lot of people, like I said, and repeating myself over and over again. Please forgive me on that. Why people call Wano a worse arc or one of the arcs that should have been better or that should have done better, you know? But sometimes some things just goes the way it is because i don't know maybe that's how the author wants to do it or they thought real hard on this you know who knows but one thing's for certain is that it's finally over wano is still one of the arcs i really enjoyed a lot you know there were some there were some other arcs that were better possibly than wano you know no denying of that but at this point it was one of the crazy crazy battle wars that i've seen so far i mean it's i don't know if it's really crazy than the marine fault arc war you know but yeah um that aside, anyways, looking forward to like um the next episode and the new arc to come, you know? Because it's not over yet, obviously, from the get-go. And we're still on our journey to finishing One Piece anime in general, which I don't know it's going to... I don't, I highly doubt it's going to end anytime soon. And it's not going to end until One Piece manga ends. And I'm pretty sure that thing might go on for another couple of years or maybe possibly a decade at most. But... Yeah. Anyways, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, I'm out for zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!